So let me show you how to add a combo attack. Uh, first you need to select the animator component and on base layer you enter the sword, for, sword folder and attacks folder. See uh, there are combos right here, those are for the player on the left and for enemies are on the right. Um, the difference is that a player have, has this fast animations um, because um, well, if the enemies had uh, as fast an animations as the player, you wouldn't have a chance basically because it's the computer steering. Um, so how to add your own combo? You basically need to go to animations folder and seek out the animation of the attack you like. There are a lot of this. So for example, let's use, um, let's use for example, this one, the fast one. We drag and drop it here and then we drag and drop it again uh, and link it with the exit time uh, variable. We match it so, so it merges and wait for the attack to happen. And then we go and set up a blend in the middle right after the attack. Um, the reason is because this animation should go uninterrupted until he actually attacks and when he does we will allow blending out to um, a different attack from the second state. Uh, so you actually notice, you may notice that the sword is not aligned correctly. Uh, this is because I use a uh, weapon bone for animation and animation doesn't have it set up. So how to set up this bone? and prepare the animations to be um, to be used in the game. We go here, select the file with the animations and we'll have an animation dialog. We find the animation that we need, so it's this one, SPR, let's find it. Um, where is it? Yeah, here it is. And we need to basically mask the transform you probably won't have that problem because you will be uh, parenting the um, sword to the hand bone so this one but I made myself a little props to make it easier I need to enable it and apply now the animation looks correctly right so Let's make a transition and transition into sword standing and idle. So when this animation finishes, it will go to idle. So that will be our actually this is just this is one attack. Those two animations. They're identical and they blend in the middle. Now how to add a second attack? Let's find an appropriate one. Like you can use any of these attack, but I suggest to find one that actually fits. Uh, there's a lot of them, so um, for example, let's use this one is actually already prepared, but let's let's use completely unprepared animation. So you can see how to prepare it. How do you prepare the animation? You find it exactly like before. So it's SPRL2. RL2, where are you? Here you are, but it's the fast one. Here it is. And you have this options for root motion, right? So you basically set up everything to original. And yeah, it's here. But you can see this little blue arrow because anim animator. I mean mechanism in Unity takes the forward axis from the torso of the character but when you stand with the sword the torso is actually in a different directions so you need to bake it into pose everything on the original and now you can see this little blue arrow it says where the forward axis is when he swings it's always forward just like intended and again we need to mask it, left prop, right prop, 
you don't have to do it in your character but in my character I have this bounce so I do I, I must do it and apply now the animation is ready to use and after we finish that animation we can blend out from this animation to that when we hit attack attack trigger is the variable that actually is set up um, to true when we press attack so swing and then we can go to text attack yeah pretty fast too fast I think oh I know why because this attack actually starts with this particular animation so let's play it from the second attack see you can do it you don't have to actually play the animation from the beginning fine-tune it yeah that's our new combo and let's transition it to idle when this animation will exit one more thing the damage is delivered by uh, not notifies notifies are in, are, are in unreal by events right so within this animation you can click it here to make it here you need to add a notify when do you want the animation to deliver the damage so it's RL2 again we need to find it and here are the events so that's the first event and you need to type in send event and the event's name is to strike and this is a double attack so the next event will be here again send event and unity already typed into strike apply now we need to tell the controller to play this combo instead of this one or this one so you need to select the name of this state control C I copied it go to playmaker and to the player base scroll to attacks there are two two buttons right essentially to launch combos so let's change the basic combo to our new combo click this state and just control V animator crossfade so when this action launches it will crossfade to to this to beginning of our new combo let's see yeah that's the combo that we actually made a little bit clunky but with fine-tuning it will be really fast that's it thank you